An arrest warrant is out tonight for a former Cohasset Town employee accused of stealing electricity from schools to run a crypto mining operation. Police are now looking for him because he didn't show up for his hearing. WBZ's Laura Haefeli explains how they say the scheme worked. That suspect was supposed to be here today at the Quincy District Court for his arraignment, but he never showed up. The judge now issuing a warrant for his arrest. The suspect is accused of mining cryptocurrency using stolen electricity and likely costing taxpayers money in the process. The crawl space between Cohasset Middle School and High School was transformed into a money making mine. Police say 39-year-old Nadim Nahas was running a cryptocurrency operation underground. Pictures show wiring and computer servers used to support the scheme. He was effectively creating money. Nahas was an assistant facilities director for the town of Cohasset. Police say his boss discovered the underground office back in December of 2021. After a months long investigation, Nahas was identified as the suspect responsible. But on Thursday, the 39 year old was supposed to be arraigned in Quincy District Court, but he never showed. He's not answering, Judge. Forcing the judge to issue a warrant. I'm hoping to see a default warrant at this time. Default warrant to issue. Thank you, Your Honor. But what exactly was Nahas doing wrong? Crypto is a digital currency. Use that cryptocurrency for other purchases, effectively washing or hiding those funds. Crypto expert and managing partner at Mayflower Advisors in Boston, Larry Glaser, explains the suspect was likely using the crawl space to create his own money on the taxpayer's dime. It's something that can't be done efficiently at home in New England because the cost of electricity is so prohibitively expensive. You had an employee who was effectively stealing electricity from the community, from the taxpayers, and from the town. WBZ News did reach out to the Cohasset Public School System. A spokesperson explains the suspect was not a school employee and they are cooperating with the investigation. Investigators were able to remove the cryptocurrency material from that crawl space safely. The suspect, once they find him, is facing charges of fraudulent use of electricity and vandalism. In Quincy, Laura Haefeli, WBZ News.